Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios and Cancerians. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on between these two zodiac star signs. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio and Cancerian viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number five. Power of number eight. And power of number eight. So 588. So looks like we are going to the power of number 21. 21 is in representation of the world card. The both of you could have met on a social media platform. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, etc. Something about an ending to an old karmic pattern and cycle so that a new phase can happen here. Could very well be true that for some of you, you could have parted ways with one another. Some of you were born in 1951, 1952, 1958, also picking up on 1981. 1982, 1985, or 1988 for some of you. <clears throat> Picking up on guilt, remorse, regret, also seeing the Hierophant. Five of Cups energy. We could see the Strength card. Picking up also two on out of the blue text messages. Or the two of you could live at a distance from one another. Power number two is also the High Priestess. Secrets, hidden wisdom, ancient wisdom, knowledge, power. We could also see the Magician. There could also be a kind of like a mm, subtly like a, a power couple. It's like a spiritual power couple type of energy. However, I do feel that the both of you in some scenarios, not all scenarios, may not exactly be seen eye to eye on certain subject matters. But we'll see what's going on. Power of number 21 for the beautiful star signs of Scorpio and Cancer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> twenty one. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio and Cancerian viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, between these two amazing star signs? Show me what's up. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Somebody is in their ego. Got the devil card, man. There could be a Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn involved. Maybe a Capricorn got in the way between the two of you. And I hear my spirit guide say, somebody's trying to scope out some information. Somebody's trying to scope out information. That's really nothing of anybody's damn business. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's what I'm hearing from spirit. So whatever that means. Somebody is keeping somebody here like a puppet on a string. Treating somebody here in some scenarios like a child. Mm-hmm. Picking up on immature communication because it's like a, my, my mind is going back and forth between Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Mm.
Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is trying to control, mind control somebody here. To leave them guessing or keeping wanting somebody to want more out of them. What is this devil energy between Scorpio and Cancer right now? Mm, the Hierophant. Something here about spiritual truth I'm picking up on. Or somebody here is not fit to be a spiritual leader. Interesting. Or there's a falsified spiritual person, I guess. I don't know. Maybe some of you are tarot card readers, oracle card readers, but somebody's not fit to lead the spiritual community. This is what I'm picking up, especially if you're in that genre or that niche of energy or that subject matter. Somebody finds somebody here weak. And somebody's playing on somebody's weakness. But in truth, somebody here is very spiritually gifted. Even maybe more so than the other person. Wow, cards are flipping. Yeah, something's off in the energy. I don't know. Something's off. Yep, something is off. We've got the sign of Scorpio that flipped out. There is a discombobulated, for the moment, there's a discombobulated energy that's going on between these two amazing star signs. It's almost like a tug of war, a spiritual tug of war, some form of competition. I am picking up on competition. A battle of the wits, I guess. I want to call it that. The Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles. Something about staying focused like a hawk, or somebody's very highly materialistic. But what's going on here is that I, I, you know, every time I do a romantic reading, because when I'm doing a star sign versus another star sign, I, I mean, yeah, I'm looking for lies. I'm looking for the lies. Are there lies, and or is there forward movement, and where's the love? I look for cup cards. In some scenarios, somebody has falsified their feelings. Somebody is a controller, a manipulator. Or somebody thinks that somebody here is obsessed when in truth they're not. Somebody here is very single, very independent, very confident, and focusing in on their career. Spirit saying something about blockage, hindrance. Somebody's a blockage or a hindrance to somebody's growth. A, falsifi a falsified mentor. A falsified mentor. Yeah. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. It is the truth. Something here about communication. It's a really odd, bizarre message today because I can guarantee this is definitely not going to resonate with everybody, but... I do understand, as your sister Scorpio, I do understand the dynamics of the energy between Scorpio and Cancer. It can be exceptionally powerful. It really tru truly can be powerful, but somebody is trying to control or manipulate somebody here with their power or their internal power. Like I said, trying to be above someone else. But in truth, in this relationship dynamic, somebody here is actually, in truth, spiritually anointed and not the other person. Somebody is focused in on somebody like a hawk. 
I'm hearing the phrase from spirit, race to the finish line. What the hell is that all about? Why does there have to be competition? It's ridiculous. Message from Scorpio's higher self unto Cancer. Seven of Pentacles. For some of you Scorpios, you could possibly want to see the relationship between you and your Cancer grow, to bloom into something that is nice, something beautiful to look at, okay? However, I'm also picking up, there's a sense of somebody here losing their patience as well because I have a devil energy that's in here, okay? Somebody is on the path to success, but somebody is also blocking somebody here towards their true life's purpose or a blockage and a hindrance or somebody could be wishing bad juju on somebody here as well. Very bizarre, but I'm seeing it and I'm hearing it. Somebody here wants revenge because um, there's a lot of emotions. I can feel the emotions under the current, but they haven't come to the surface. So underneath the surface, somebody here I'm feeling is highly wounded. Highly emotionally wounded. And there's anger or pent-up frustration that's going on. I don't know. I'm feeling like spiritual warfare, warfare here. I mean, it's just honestly bizarre. Message from Cancer's Higher Self unto Scorpio. Oh my God in heaven. What's going on, Cancer? What are you doing? Oh boy. Sneaky? If it's not you, Cancer, then maybe you feel your Scorpio's being sneaky. Or Scorpio, you could definitely feel, in fact, that Cancer's being sneaky about something here. Could also be sneaky about a secret relationship that's going on. Hierophant can bring in marriage. Somebody could be acting and or playing off as if they're single, when in truth they could actually be married. But there's deception. Ooh. Cut in the middle of the deck. There's the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it is the truth that somebody is being deceptive in their antics and what they say. And I'm picking up the word condescending. Woo. Condescending. Interesting. Yeah, I'm thinking that there are emotions that are really buried, very, like, even beyond six feet under. The emotions are hitting to the core, but they're not surfacing. Somebody is hurt because of deception, or some. there could have also been a friends with benefits situation that was going on here, and somebody promised somebody the sun and the moon and the stars that they would have a connection together. And yeah, the chemistry is out of sight, out of mind. Okay, traction, chemistry, it's there. I'm feeling it there because of the devil card, but somebody was trying to control and or manipulate the situation. I do feel that somebody got caught out in public. Saw either Scorpio out with somebody else or Cancer, you got caught being out with somebody else. I don't know. But there's lies and deception going on here. And somebody is a falsified spiritual leader of the spiritual community. And shouldn't be teaching certain things. Because there's an ego that's going on here. Mm. So this, you know, anytime I'm pairing up zodiac signs, yes, most of the times it could definitely come out as a romantic reading. But this can also be between you and a friend, you and a family member, or a colleague, etc. Okay, so take the roles how they resonate. Not everything is always on a romantic level, but about 80% of the time, yes, it can be. 
but there's some deception going on on cancer's end. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's not intentional. I don't know. Maybe trying to play a little bit of devil's advocate here, but uh, somebody's trying to get away with something or seek out or scope out information that they have no business being in. Mm. Wow. Not sure what spirit guide that was that was coming out of me saying that, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> wow. What are the lies? What are the deception? What's going on? What are the lies or deception? What's going on? The Queen of Wands could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody's being sneaky about a fire sign. Somebody could be sleeping with somebody else behind the scenes right now. Or there's a third party situation that is highly toxic. Highly toxic and if somebody doesn't get smart, they're going to miss out on the real deal. Real deal of a lifetime. Somebody's also manifesting <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could have been deceptive in the connection that they wanted to build and or grow a family dynamic here, but it could very well be true that in some scenarios, either one of you may not entirely be healed from a prior relationship before the two of you ever met one another. But if it is a business, a business dynamic, then somebody's trying to take advantage of somebody's money and or situation or colleagues or whatever. It's, it's really about something here about a race to the finish line. I can't help but not feel competition of something This Ten of Pentacles, I mean, can, you know, bring in uh, foundation structure stability, but somebody was being sneaky that somebody in truth is actually married behind the scenes or has another commitment somewhere else. Whoever the hell this Queen of Wands is could be a male or female, doesn't matter that there's a secret marriage or a secret relationship that's going on or somebody secretively wants to be with someone else. And so they're trying to get whatever they can out of the situation right now, maybe before somebody sneaks off and they go think that they're having lollipops and roses <clears throat> off yonder. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Somebody's more spiritually gifted than someone else. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got a dark side, man. You know, I mean, we all possess a light and a dark side. It just depends on, you know, we can't have one without the other. It's, it's duality. We just we can't, can't have the light without the dark and vice versa. So perception, somebody's perception about this connection is also off. Too. Somebody feeds into somebody's energy, but I'm also picking up a breadcrumbing. There's a breadcrumbing energy that's going on here. Somebody throws out somebody breadcrumbs and keeps somebody like a puppet on a string, like a little puppy dog, like a little puppy dog on the string. And this is how they're controlling and, you know, manipulating the situation. So... What I'm feeling here, you guys, is that somebody here in general is in their ego. And there are secrets. And there are secrets that are going on. Could be secret family dynamics as well.
I feel you even though we are apart. So again, somebody could be having some kind of puppy dog love type of energy where they keep hanging on and hanging on and hanging on. But having this devil energy here just throws everything off balance. So this could even be a friendship. This can just in flat out in general be a friendship and not even a romantic situation. There could be a friend in your life that has been doing this, trying to control, manipulate things when they're ready or, you know, on their time, their schedule, whatever. It's always about what they want to do and not what you want to do, you know? So somebody here is feeling this energy like there's a sense of anxiety or a loss or maybe even a sense of separation that they're feeling this energy between the two of you and I think it is bringing up about some form of a little bit of sadness I know I messed up everything mm -hmm. yeah because you know why either way somebody lied I got a seven of swords there's a seven of swords energy going on I'm not available. Yeah, they're only available when they want to be available. So again, somebody's trying to control and or manipulate a situation when they're going to respond back to text messages, when they're going to respond back to phone calls, voicemails, DMs, etc. And it could very well be true that the reason why somebody's not available or tries to brush you off to the side is because there could definitely be a secret relationship or a marriage that is going on behind the scenes. Ugh. it's chaotic. It's a chaotic mess in some cases, not for all of you. But again, if it's a friendship, it's, if it's a colleague, this colleague could try to act as if they are more superior than you because this person looks at you as if you are a weak link. And so they're going to play on that weak link for some of them. Message from the Hierophant. Somebody feels that they're going to be back together again. So guess what? Somebody's manifesting for a reconciliation, trying to use their higher self, their higher power in order to draw this relationship connection using the law of attraction, law of assumption. There's still an attraction here. There's an attraction here, but somebody somewhere in somebody's mind is thinking that this connection is going to come together. But first things first, let's get rid of the deception. Somebody needs to come forward and be truthful and honest. Whether or not somebody's going to do that, it's hard to say. Somebody's willpower, like in, in your mental reality, this person conforming to the way that you want them to conform, is it possible? Yes, because in your mental reality, no one has free will in your mental reality. Okay, so somebody here is trying to use the power of their mind in order to attract what it is that they want. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, somebody's shaking in their boots because somebody uses narcissistic tactics or condescending answers in their text messages or phone calls or in their messages. It's like somebody here doesn't want to be bothered, yet I feel like there's no sense of closure. Either one of you may not get closure if the relationship broke off or there was a separation, a split, divorce, whatever. For those of you who went through divorce, you guys could be totally happy right now, feeling good about the fact like, okay, both of you are in the free and the clear. You can also move on, go through your healing phase, etc. But if you guys are, you know, dating somebody right now, there's a fear because somebody is, is quote unquote, longing and yearning to hear somebody's voice or to have somebody's attention and somebody knows this, but they're choosing not to make themselves available because somebody here feels like somebody's got a crush on them or feeling like there's um, 
again, like it, it's like manipulation, puppy dog love. Somebody thinks that somebody's like a little puppy dog that follows after them. Okay, so somebody's got to break free of that energy and get back into their personal power and stop putting somebody here up on a pedestal because this is, it's false. Somebody is a false leader. Somebody is not really in truth spiritually gifted. They're not really that in truth spiritually gifted. They think they are, but they're not. It's an odd message, but I'm hearing it from spirit. So like I said, take what resonates, but there has been deception. Somebody controls or manipulates. And then when somebody hasn't heard from somebody in a while, then they want to get up all in your business. So this can, in truth, for some of you, be a friendship, colleague relationship that's going on. I do feel that there could also be an office relationship, a secret crush, a secret relationship, somebody making eye contact or, you know, sending each other the look or the stare, you know, in the office area, um, trying to pretend like they're not interested, but when in truth they really are. So there's a lot of questioning there, there, there's questioning that I'm picking up on because I got coin energy. So that's where I'm also picking up work life. Okay. Um, <clears throat> But somebody treats somebody like a baby. That's that's another thing. Um, again, I'm hearing the phrase condescending. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's a narcissistic tactic. Whenever the devil card kicks in, the devil is such an interesting card because it, it, it can go in so many different ways. It can go in so many different ways that it's kind of funny because it can show control, lies, deception, manipulation, somebody who has an addiction, porn addictions, gambling addictions, yet there could be desire, a lust for life, um, somebody who's not willing to back down, and sometimes who can be a very hard worker because this uh, energy is ruled by the sign of Capricorn, and Capricorn rules over the 10th house of the Zodiac. There could also be an office relationship where there's a boss figure and an employee screwing around in the back of the office or whatever, and this person could very well, in fact, know that somebody's married here, okay? Hey, the mind wants what it wants, and the body wants what it wants, okay? You can't I, what do you, no judgment on my part. I can't throw judgment. You know, I, it's just those are types of situations that could be going on, but yet somebody is not emotionally available because they could be attached to a wife or to a husband or, you know, they may have kids, a family unit all pulled together and um, <laughs> somebody here doesn't care about breaking their marriage vows. Okay, that's a choice. That's free will, you know, in the 3D reality. You know, somebody's choosing to break a marriage bond or a marriage contract, et cetera, by sleeping around. Um, there you go. I mean, there's just so many scenarios I'm picking up on this time around. I think this is the most information I've ever gotten before in my entire life as far as doing Scorpio versus cancer. But somebody does feel that they messed something up. And there's a fear to reach out and communicate uh, because of feeling, you know, like somebody feels that they're going to get shut down. Somebody feels that they're going to get shut down or rejected and or feeling like they're a bother to someone. So there's a lot of, like I said, the emotions, I'm not getting like card energy wise, but I can feel it underneath. There's been a lot of emotions or feelings that have been hurt. Somebody has been really hurt. And somebody is not showing somebody here empathy or compassion. And they've got a little hot hat and a little ego about them. Walk away from that. You know, if somebody's being that way to you, you guys, walk away. It's not worth it. It's not worth it because this can also indicate that there is a falsified friend. They're not your friend. Somebody here is not your friend, especially if it's a, like a non-romantic uh, situation. Somebody here is not your friend and they're not being truthful and they're not being authentic and or transparent. The only way that they're being transparent is to be condescending and belittling and um, trying to find some sense of superiority over you. So go heal thyself, Scorpio. Go heal thyself, Cancer. 
whatever situation that you find yourself in, go back and find your internal strength and your internal power right now and just focus in on you. Know thyself first. My awesome and amazing Scorpios and Cancerians, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.